Welcome to 49ers Press Coverage Radio. Let's get right into it. Listen, I think tomorrow's game between the Niners and Eagles, the very beginning is the most important part. The 49ers cannot fall behind early. They can't go down 10 to nothing, 14 nothing, nothing like that. That'll get the crowd into it. That'll make the Eagles feel good about themselves. And if the 49ers get too far behind, they're going to have to drop back and pass a lot. And that Eagles pass rush, who had 70 plus sacks this season, is going to come after them. So that's not good. So, having said all that, now joining me on the show is a special guest, at Archer83 via TikTok. He's a longtime 49er fan. He's seen the glory days. He's seen him win a Super Bowl. And I've had a blast going back and forth with him in the comments section here on TikTok. So, Archer83, what's your feel on this game? High scoring, low scoring, blowout? What do you think? I feel that the game is going to be close. These teams, they are both stacked with talent. And I don't really see either one of them having that much of an advantage over the other. So my score prediction is going to be 27-24 49ers. Um, I believe there's going to be more scoring in the second half than in the first half. Because I think both teams in the first half are going to be just trying to feel each other out. Seeing what works, what doesn't work. But I think in the second half, the Niners are going to get them. Because I feel that the Niners are better at making adjustments. Yeah, definitely. These teams are definitely stacked with talent. I mean, the amount of Pro Bowlers in this game is ridiculous. So I agree with you. I think it's going to be a good game. 24-23 to 23 is my guess. 49ers somehow win this game. And hopefully and probably the reason why they win this game is the second half adjustments. The 49ers defense has been ridiculous in the second half. So we both think the game's going to be close. We both think the Niners are going to win. Do you trust Kyle Shanahan in the fourth quarter of this game? Oh, do you? Kyle, I'm not 100% um, confident in him yet. He was conservative in the Cowboys game. And so uh, if he's conservative in this game, then it's going to be a problem. I 100% agree. He cannot be like he was last week. The Niners need to put up points in this game. But of course, let's hope he runs the ball more than he throws it in the fourth quarter of a big game. So in order to put up points in this game, they're going to need some good protection up front. What do you think about Mike McGlinchey in this game against this Eagles defensive line? McGlinchey worries me. Um, the way he got thrown by Parsons, that was just, that was a bad look. That was a very, very bad look. Um, Sweat is no joke. I think he has something like 11 sacks on the season. Uh, I do think McGlinchey will give up a sack this game. Hopefully it's not one that is um, in a crucial part of the game. But I do feel that Kyle is going to have to give McGlinchey help in this one. He's definitely someone that we're going to be watching closely in this game. And what do you think Brock Purdy needs to do? All he needs to do is take care of the ball and just make make the throws that are given to him. If he has 220 yards and a touchdown with no picks... I feel we win this game. Yeah, I agree with that. And off the air, you also told me you don't believe he has to outplay Hurts, and I agree with that too. Anyway, that's all the time we have. I wish we had more time. I know there was other things we wanted to talk about, like spying Hurts with Greenlaw and the 49ers run game. Uh, I do want to mention that I hope Mason plays. I think he's a perfect type of runner for this game, but uh, obviously it's going to be McCaffrey for the bulk of the carries. We'll see if Mitchell even suits up. All right, well, at Archer83, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming on, and go Niners, man. One win away from the Super Bowl.